DXL PRL2 or Photolab 5? Which one should you choose? What's up everybody? If you've looked into DXL software for photo editing, you probably came across DXL's Pure Raw 2 and Photolab 5. Now you might be asking the question, well, how are they different? Or maybe, should you get both? To answer those questions, let's go ahead and take a look at what they can do. Pure Raw offers you a quick way to take advantage of DXL's deep prime noise reduction and optical corrections for your raw photos. You can output your files to DNGs to take into another program for further processing, or just output straight to JPEG. Photolab can do anything that PureRaw can do, but it's also a full-featured photo editor. You can choose from more output formats, have full control over the level of noise reduction and optical corrections, and also have access to a whole bunch of other tools to get your photo looking just right. In this video, I won't be diving into all the things that Photolab can do, but instead focus in on the features that it shares with PureRaw so that you can decide if PureRaw is enough for your needs. We're going to look at comparisons between the output files of the two programs. I'll be using an uncompressed RAW photo of a color chart in these examples. The chart was shot at ISO 51200 so that we can easily see the results of the noise reduction. Pure RAW 2 is plain and simple with not a lot of options to adjust. When we choose to process a photo, we first have to pick the noise reduction method. Today I'll only be using Deep Prime because its advanced noise reduction is one of the main selling points of Pure RAW. Next we select if we want to turn on global lens sharpening and or lens distortion correction. I'll go ahead and leave both of these off for now for the initial comparison. Inside Photolab 5, I'll first export a file with no corrections or noise reduction of any kind to see what the original RAW file looks like. Then I'll export another file with just the Deep Prime noise reduction enabled to its default setting. Let's take a look at our three files. I'll be using Affinity Photo to view the files because I just personally find it easier to make comparisons with. Taking a look at the unedited photo first, we can see just how noisy it is without any processing. Next, let's go ahead and look at the Photolab export with Deep Prime Noise Reduction. Here we can see there's a big difference that the Deep Prime Noise Reduction has made. Next is the Pure Raw export with Deep Prime. Right off the bat, it's pretty obvious that Pure Raw has applied a vignetting correction. It's important to note here that you can't turn this correction off in Pure Raw as there's no option to do so. Next, we can go ahead and look at another export from Photolab with a vignetting correction applied so that we can see if there are any other differences. Let's go ahead and zoom into 200%. Now we can see that PureRaw has also applied some level of chromatic aberration correction because the Photolab file is showing much more blue and orange colors on the edge of the text. Note again here that this chromatic aberration correction cannot be disabled in PureRaw. Moving on, let's look at another export from Photolab after we add the default chromatic aberration correction to the mix. Now we can see that a lot of those blue and orange colors are gone, and I think it actually did a little bit of a better job than Pure Raw here. Note that Photolab also provides flexibility with the degree of chromatic aberration you can apply. In addition, I'm also seeing a difference here in sharpness between the two, with the Pure Raw file being sharper. Remember that this is even with Pure Raw's global lens sharpening option turned off. So let's then apply the default lens sharpening in Photolab and see how it compares. Now we're zoomed into 400%. While there are differences here, at 400% we're really splitting hairs already, so I'm just going to go ahead and say that the sharpening is about equal here. Now we can enable global lens sharpening in Pure Raw and compare the output against our most recent Photolab file. I think this might be hard to see on YouTube, but this new Pure Raw file is even sharper than the previous one, which is to be expected considering that we turned the global lens sharpening option on. It's now clearly sharper than a Photolab file, but I think it's showing signs of over sharpening. In any case, let's see if we can get something similar out of Photolab. If we set the lens sharpness global setting to a plus two, I think we can get a similar result. So Photolab here once again offers more flexibility with its sharpening options. For the last comparison, we'll enable distortion correction in both Pure Raw 2 and Photolab 5, but let's go ahead and crank the Deep Prime noise reduction in Photolab to the max by maxing out the luminance parameter. Here we can see a huge difference in the result. I don't think you'd max out the noise reduction often, but it is nice to know that the option is there for you if you need it. Okay, that was a lot. So to sum it up, Pure Raw 2 offers DxO's great noise reduction and optical corrections at a lower price point, but without the full flexibility to choose and tweak the corrections. Photolab 5 comes in at a higher price point and offers you everything that Pure Raw 2 does, but with much more flexibility and many other additional tools so that you can dial in your perfect result. 
I hope that some of you out there found this video helpful. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.